Y'all, they done found the hot combs. This is not a drill. They done found the hot combs and they calling them hairbrush straighteners. They done found the hot comb. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel once again it's your girl Dumebilia. if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know that i love you it's so good to have you here welcome back first of all my usual disclaimer because this one's going to get a little spicy this video is strictly for educational purposes please do not go searching out the people that i talk about in this video don't send them any form of hate hate comments threats or violence this channel does not support any of that so this palm colored woman made several tiktoks where she was using a hot comb first of all like to give you guys a background story i went to her tiktok page and she basically tries a lot of stuff that is not the first hair product that she's trying to use or hair appliance she has used several of them so apparently she came across the hot comb and decided to also make a video using it like trying it out to straighten her curly hair right Okay, so I'm just going to go right ahead and play her videos back to back. I ordered something new. This came incredibly quick. I literally ordered it two days ago and it was not supposed to get here until like the 12th and then it just showed up. So that's really cool. Now, why did I get it? So I got it because I was straightening my hair the other week and I was showing you guys the straightener that I got. And I love the straightener. I really do. And I'm still going to use the straightener. But everyone was saying use a comb. It'll make it less frizzy if you use a comb because my hair is just... Well, you can see. But a lot of people said when I was straightening my hair that I needed to run a comb with it. And so I was trying to do it and then I did it wrong and then I lost the comb. My kids took the comb. I don't know where the comb went. Anyway, then I was driving on TikTok shop and I saw this and I was like, oh, that's perfect because then it will be like a heated comb, like heat. So I don't have to put the hair straightener and the comb and I could just do it with one. Anyway, once my hair dried a little bit more, I'm going to give this a try because I'm actually really excited. So stay tuned. Y'all. Are you kidding? This took me like two seconds. Oh my goodness, freaking gracious. I really like this thing. That's really freaking cool. I will say you need to be careful with this thing, but just put it. I like that I can get so close to the roots and then I, I read that you need to push it to where the back of the comb is going against your hair. Y'all. Okay, here's a, the next morning update with sleeping in my hair after straightening it with this. this Yes, you are correct. This, I guess, is called a hot comb. Not I guess, it is called a hot comb. I didn't know anything about this, literally whatsoever. I didn't even know this freaking thing existed at all until I saw it on TikTok shop and I was like, oh, that's freaking cool. Now, I didn't name the product. What's listed here, or if the link even works, TikTok shop's in this right now, but it, they named it, I didn't name it. So yes, technically speaking, this is a hot comb. I've been seeing a lot of comments of people saying that that theirs were used to be put on the stove or they have ones that you put on the stove to get hot. This is just an electric one. I just thought it was super cool because it's able to be touched. It gets very, 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 very hot. Um, and I put it on the lowest setting and people are like concerned it's gonna fry my hair off. I really don't see any like damage. It didn't seem, it was very good for my hair. I know a few of you guys have ordered it as well. Let me know what you think of it because I definitely, definitely recommend it. If there's not a little link right here, you should be able to find it. It, it should be right here. If it's not, you should be able to find it on the TikTok shop. Okay, let's talk about this and this comment and the hundred other comments that are on these other videos. Some people are really upset. Some people are absolutely not upset. Some people are calling me all these names. Some people are being racist, some, all sorts of things. So I just, I really want to talk about it because first of all, four days ago, I, four days ago, yeah. I didn't know that hot combs even existed. Didn't even know. I had straightened my hair on a video for you guys and a lot of you guys were like, you need to follow it up with a comb. And I was having a hard time doing the both of those. So when I ran into this on TikTok shop, I was like, holy shit, that's like, exactly what I need combined into one because the roots of my hair which need to just say again are straighter than they ever usually are um because of this and I literally did it two days ago I have a hard time getting this to be straight so the rest of my hair doesn't go straight it's just I don't I yes I know that they're making I saw people say that they make flat irons for this you don't need to use this this isn't for you but it, I saw it I used it it says it's for all hair types let me show you the picture that was advertising it literally here it's for all hair types is what it says i didn't name it what it's called obviously the original name was a hot comb it is still considered a hot comb i didn't name what it is they should change it and call it a hot comb 
I've gotten a few comments like this saying like Madam CJ Walker would be very upset would be because she's the creator of the hot comb but last night when a lot of these comments started flooding in I started to do my own research on the hot comb and Madam CJ Walker is actually not the inventor of the hot comb um Francis something something is he's a French man he invented it not that that has anything to do with it obviously I know that this is primarily now now I pri now I know that this is primarily used on black women's hair I literally didn't know one or the other I found it on TikTok shop I was like oh it's a comb cool do you know what I mean? So now that I'm getting these comments coming in, they're educating me and they're teaching me, hey, this is for this and this is for this. But a lot of people are being just very not nice about it because I don't understand what is the big deal with me using it is my thing. Because it really, I like it for my hair. It's listed as for all hair types. It absolutely probably does not get as hot as the ones that you guys were saying that you put on the stove. Because um, it's an electric one and it has settings and it goes three. I, I don't know. Um, I don't mean any hate, I don't mean any disrespect whatsoever. I'm trying to find things that make my hair work a little bit better and I'm really, really pleased with the results of this thing. So, yeah. And it's gonna say eligible for permission at the bottom because I'm tagging the freaking product. Good morning, let's chat. We're talking about these videos if you aren't aware about them, which I'm sure most of you are. But let's back up before these videos. About two, three weeks before when I bought myself a hair straightener and I straightened my hair with it. It was also something that I purchased off for TikTok shop. So at the bottom, it did say eligible for commission. Again, I just want to reiterate that does not mean I had a paid partnership. A lot of people I've seen like very upset that I got a hot comb paid partnership. That is just not what happened. I purchased it on TikTok shop. When you tag something from TikTok shop, it just says eligible for commission at the bottom because if someone were to purchase it, I get like, I don't know, a 50 cent commission off of it. Regardless, I bought myself a hair straightener and everyone and their mother was coming for me saying that I'm stupid, I don't know how to do my hair, it's not how I straighten my hair because my roots were not straight, my hair was not completely straight. So it upset me, I was like, damn, okay, whatever, I don't know how to straighten my hair, I can't get it straight enough. So when I was scrolling through TikTok shop and I found this, I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. They said I need to use a comb and straighten my hair, but I can't do both at the same time, so this is perfect, I'll straighten my roots with this. Now when I purchased it, yes, it was called a hair brush straightener, and yes, it absolutely should have been called a hot comb. I didn't know any of the why's. Once I posted, I think this initial video, people were like, girl, that's a hot comb, that's not a hair brush like what the fuck are you talking about but the comments didn't start flooding it because i posted like these like back to back to back but this video is where i like i tried to say like you're right this is a hot comb this is not but where i fucked up is when i said because somebody said like madam cj walker while uh, rolling in her grave right now and i was like well madam cj walker isn't the inventor of the comb which first of all completely irrelevant i don't even know why the fuck i said that but second of all i shouldn't have trusted google i shouldn't have just gone on google and based off research because we all know that history has been changed and it's not accurate that's why we're wrong i should not have just I should not have just said that because that's obviously very offensive to people and I understand why people are upset about that. Very much do. When this video went up, I got a lot of DMs from my followers, supporters, black women saying like don't you don't you don't feel the need to argue with people who are upset about you using a like a hair tool, it's not that big of a deal, just use it or don't, just don't. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people were educating me in the comments about the correct history and facts about. It. Which I do appreciate, genuinely, because I didn't know and I I would always love to know more and I was never intending to intentionally discredit someone that is not what i was doing and i know it's not what i was doing i'm willing to take accountability for what i have done okay what i don't think is okay though is when someone takes a video of mine clips it like this man has done obviously see that's my face he's posted on his facebook and his tiktok i don't know if he's posted on other social medias too but i have been bombarded with unbelievable amounts of and I know you guys are gonna be like, oh, don't play the victim here, no, 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 but like threats, like horrible things being said to me because this man has clipped my video to make it look like I am f***ed. Like I said, he made it look like I was crying when I literally scratched my eyebrow. He made it look like I was saying they as if like the black community when I was talking about the creator of the fucking company, the box they, and, and, and he spun it to make it look like the absolute worst that it could possibly look because obviously he needs his content and that just does not seem right to me. Love to reiterate the fact that, um, Yes, I was wrong. Yes, I should have done better research before I made a video speaking on redundant points that I didn't even know what I was talking about. But I'm also just human and I'm learning. And this is not fucking cool. So as you guys can imagine, when she made the first one or two videos, there were black people in the comment section, you know, probably telling her, oh, that's not called a hairbrush straightener. Because she was calling it a hairbrush straightener and that was the name she saw when she purchased it online, right? So she saw hairbrush straightener. And black people, of course, will be in the comments offering information, telling her, no, that's not what it's called. This is what it's called. It's called a hot comb. Black people have been using it for years. That even used to be like the mechanical one that you heat on the stove and stuff like that. Probably giving her tips. I'm saying probably because she turned off her comments. That's to tell you how hot it must have gotten it out in her comment section of those videos, right? So obviously they'll be giving her tips and stuff like that, right? So maybe the heat got too much and she now kept making replies upon replies upon replies and <laughs> you guys know that people came for her right i'm just going to go right ahead and play some of the responses to her videos 
Well, they done found something new. They found the bonnets. And now they done found a hot comb. Good Lord. <laughs> they done found the hot comb. And what did she say? What did she say? I didn't know this even existed until what? TikTok. Something we've been using since what? Childhood. I know every black woman remembers they mama putting that comb on the stove because you were scared. You were scared. You were terrified. You had to hold your ear. Getting burned. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Especially for Easter Sunday. Oh, you was right on Easter Sunday. Yes, ma'am. With the hot comb. And now, now, they done found those two. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Am someone that here we go with this shit again. You got black folks on my for you page talking about this white girl using a hot comb on her hair. And if she bald headed after she used a flat on, I bet you she won't use it again. I bet you she won't use it again, but that's none of our business. Like, if anything, we can tell her, hey, you know, use it on the lowest heat, use some heat protectant. We can educate her instead of trying to bash her. Cause what the fuck is bashing her gonna do? Nothing. Like us black folks should be like, okay, they they fuck with us. Like they using our shit. They so let's talk about it. Yes, it is called a hot comb, but she even explained in the video that her roots have never stayed as flat as they did when she used a hot comb versus like a regular flat iron. Now, a hot comb is typically for black people because our hair strands are thicker than most white people. Their hair is thinner and finer, so and a hot comb gets extremely hot. So trying to put that on thin hair, I don't know. But if the tool works for you, use it. Like, I don't see the problem. Like, yes, hot combs come from black folks, but if it works for you, why not use it? Like, nobody's out here saying that damn uh, tool that came out where you can uh, blow dry and flat iron your hair when it's wet at the same fucking time. Look at this magical hair dryer. <laughs> That's not meant for black people, but black people use it. So, what's the issue? Like, I'm 100% black and I'm sick of black folks trying to always claim some shit. Like, yes, it did come from black folks, but why the fuck else can't nobody else use it? Like, nobody is trying to take shit from us. Like, if something works for them, that's what they're going to use. Like, just like when you install in a wig or something, you, you got to pick and choose which products work best for laying a wig on you. Like, what the fuck is the problem with another race? using something that that you use on yourself if it works for them it works for them and they're gonna continue to use it so i don't i don't really understand the problem like i said in the other video that people was all in the comments talking shit because i did cornrows on a hispanic if you would live the life that god gave you and don't worry about nobody else the world would be a better place like i'm i'm so sick of all of this we are in 2023 let people do what the fuck they want to do with their hair that grew out of their head and you worry about yourself like i would never understand the I, w I would never understand it. it's a lot of shit that that black folks do that are other cultures or other cultures do that black folks do if nobody is being disrespectful say oh yeah this, this this if nobody is doing that what is the actual issue so why people want to take offense to it like, oh yeah that white girl's using a flat iron she gonna burn her hair off and da 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 da, -da. mind your business Look who responded. Good morning, let's chat. We're talking about these videos if you weren't aware about them, which I'm sure most of you are. Oh, they are. But thanks to you for turning off your comment section on every single video. I had to give people a place to talk about it because you didn't want to talk about it. So let's talk about it. But this video is where I, like, I tried to say, like, you're right, this is a hot comb, this is not. But where I f***ed up is when I said, because somebody said, like, Madison J. Walker uh, rolling in her grave right now. And I was like, well, Madison J. Walker isn't the inventor of the comb. No, where you fucked up is when you were trying to educate black women on something that you have never used your entire in life when they were just trying to help you out and educate you. And then you silenced them by muting their comments. But please, continue. Which, first of all, completely irrelevant. I don't know why the I said that but second of all i shouldn't have trusted google i shouldn't have just gone on google and based off research because we all know the history has been changed and it's not accurate but that's why we're wrong i should not have just i should not have just said because that's obviously very offensive to people and i understand why people are upset about them okay somewhat accountability but i have a feeling that's like the end of it when this video went up i got a lot of dms from my followers supporters black women saying 
Like, don't you don't you don't feel the need to argue with people who are upset about you using a, like a hair tool? It's not that big of a deal. Just use it or don't. Just don't. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people were educating me in the comments about the correct history and facts about, which I do appreciate genuinely because I didn't know and I I would always love to know more. And I was never intending to intentionally discredit someone. Oh, you mean those same black women that you muted when you turn off all your comments or those same black women that you claim to appreciate and show love to when they educated you but when somebody left a comment saying people mad you didn't do your curls right then they mad that you didn't straighten it right someone will always be mad just keep being yourself and you replied gotta be mad about something laughing emoji hmm that doesn't seem like very appreciative i know it's not what i I'm willing to take accountability for what I have done, okay? What I don't think is okay, though, is when someone takes a video of mine, clips it, like this man has done. Obviously, you see, that's my face. He's posted on his Facebook and his TikTok. I don't know if he's posted on other social medias, too, but I have been bombarded with unbelievable amounts of... And I know you guys are going to be like, oh, don't play the victim here, no, no, no. Yeah, it's kind of what I do, because white people like you have been doing bullshit like this since the beginning of forever and the only way you're going to change a society where white people feel like they can do whatever the f they want because society tells them that they can do whatever the f they want you gotta make them feel uncomfortable because accountability sucks horrible things being said to me because this man has clipped my video to make it look like i am f like i said he made it look like i was crying when i literally scratched my eyebrow no let's rewatch it shall we this um all sorts of things no, no, don't bring the white woman to you. Don't accuse people of being racist towards you. What's the reason? See, if you slow it down real quick, frame by frame, I didn't do none of that shit. I said, don't bring your white woman tears. I didn't say you cried. Oh, you made it look like I was saying they, as if, like, the black community, when I was talking about the creator of the fucking company, the box, they. Again, you're wrong again. Come on, you can say it. I named it. I didn't name it. So, yes, technically speaking, this is a hot comb. That was the beginning of my video and your video. I've gotten a few comments like this saying And I sped up this part because you just went on a one minute rant of bullshit and nonsense instead of just apologizing to black women. And I'm calling out your bullshit because this is what white women do. They will smile on your face and talk shit about you behind your back. He spun it to make it look like the absolute worst that it could possibly look because obviously he needs his content and that just does not seem right to me. Love to reiterate the fact that, um, yes, I was wrong. Yes, I should have done better research before I made a video speaking on redundant points that I didn't even know what I was talking about. But I'm also just human and I'm learning. And this is not fucking cool. No, this is what you call lack of accountability and a half-ass apology. But don't take it from me. Take it from everybody else in your comment section. Wait. You have a whole nother apology video? This is the final part to the last video that I just made. If you haven't seen it, scroll down. At the end of the day, people make mistakes. I made a mistake. I should have done more research when I looked on Google. What I read on Google obviously was inaccurate information and people are saying now you're blaming Google. No. Okay, and? And that's it. And I do want to apologize to anyone that I offended with inaccurate information and felt that I was trying to be disrespectful because that was never ever my intention. Except for the part where you basically told everybody to fuck off, right? So don't be mad when we match your fucking energy too. My name's Eric Stone. Doses. And for anybody who thinks this is not that big of a serious issue, white women tears are fucking dangerous. With me using it. The cultural appropriation, the gentrification never fucking stops. And the part that always sends me to the moon and fucking back is they never understand the big deal they never get it like just zero understanding one plus one is eight bit no understanding and who is selling this and why like who who made this who said that it was a hairbrush straightener who the f did this like do i blame her a little bit do i blame this this company or this this the, this whoever did this more absolutely absolutely the name don't even make sense it's a comb bitch not even a brush like if you made an electric brush and advertised that yes but you actually took an electric hot comb changed the name and started marketing it to people who lack the melanin and the hair texture and when her hair starts sliding out like a slip and slide collabo whose fault is that gonna be 
So here's the pattern. The white person does something culturally insensitive. Um, they cry about it. They get called out. They cry about it. They turn the comments off, which has already happened. Um, may or may not issue an apology because, like she said, she don't see what she did wrong. And then company's going to take down the product. Uh, a lot of white women are going to buy the fucking product just to be spiteful. It's going to disappear. And then about two or three years later, we're going to do this shit all over again. Now... I couldn't stitch the video. She turned off the stitch. She turned off the duet. She also turned off the comments on every single one of the videos that she has using this product. Now, let me just first start by saying this. I don't have no problem with this woman using a hot comb. I, I don't have no problem with it. She seems like she has curlier hair. I don't have no problem with her using the hot comb. My problem is with her acting like she discovered the hot girl. That's my problem. If you watch the videos, she says, oh, like, I had no idea it was four days ago. I didn't even know this existed. Like, I didn't even know. Like, I, uh, I just want to know, like, where could you have been? Where could you have been that you did not know what a hot comb was? I just don't like when Caucasian people act like they somehow discovered a product that everybody else knows about or discovered a new trend that other groups were not already doing. I don't like that. It, this just really feels like Hailey Bieber with the brownie lip. Like, oh. <laughs> it felt wrong. It felt very wrong. I felt uncomfortable watching it to hear somebody say they discovered a hot comb and was invented by a French man. Not that it matters. And on top of that, Miss girl, I have nothing against you, Miss Sierra, but I need you to give credit where credit is due. This is not a new product. Women with kinky, curly hair or have thicker roots like your own have been using hot combs for gener generations. I I'm, I'm talking about generations. I'm talking about back, 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 back in the slave days, baby. We was using hot combs. White people was using hot combs. PSA, stop acting like y'all discovered stuff that you did not discover. Okay, please just give credit where credit is due. You didn't discover boundary lips. Squiggly edges will never be a thing. And this is not a comb straightener. That's not what it's called. It's a hot comb. The big deal here is when it comes to black women's hair, it's very touchy because black people's hair have been a subject of scrutiny. We have been told our hair is nappy, our hair is unkempt, our hair looks dirty. We don't have good hair. We've been taught to hate our hair. Anything that looks anything different from our hair is better. You know, even till now, black people are facing discrimination about the way their hair naturally grows off of their scalp, right? So when it comes to hair and the way we maintain our hair and the way we wear our hair and the history of our hair, it is very sensitive. So black people had to devise methods and create appliances and products to take care of our hair, to manage our hair, and that is why black people would feel a need to get keep things like this that they created because of the hate you guys your ancestors showed to the hair that we have naturally right so i can understand why the hot comb will be gatekept and now we're not saying that only black people can use it but then use it at your own risk if you don't have kinky hair right because anything can happen our hair can withstand more heat and manipulation than theirs anyway Use it at your own risk. Now, we're not saying only black people can use it. We're just saying when you want to use our stuff, do it with respect for the culture and do it the right way. Now, I'm just going to be human. I'm not talking as a black person now. As a human, I can understand you finding something, feeling like, oh, I'm excited about this stuff. This is great. It's straightening my hair, making these videos, talking about it and this and that. And there's nothing wrong in that, right? So now, when you had these black women in the comment section telling you all these things, they made it known to you that this is a part of our culture. This is what we've been using. Our mothers have been using. Our grandmothers have been using. And this is probably how to use it or whatever. Now, the question is, how do you, who is ignorant of all of these things they are telling you, who is basically getting schooled, how do you take this information? What do you do with this piece of information, right? So then, this is where I have an issue with her. So when they were saying this, I personally, if I was a palm-colored person and I was in that position, 
knowing the history of black hair in america because at this point i refuse to believe that there's any palm color person of her age who is that internet savvy who shouldn't know at least the basics of the history of black hair in america right so when you see the black people swooping your comments and start telling you all this stuff what do you do knowing that is a sensitive subject if i was in her position what i do is maybe i will get on a live with a black person or i will slide into the dms of one of the black people maybe the person that seems nice in the comments and be like oh thank you for the information what what else do i need to know about this product um so that i can do right by the black community what do i need to say how do i use it how do i talk about it in such a way that it won't be offensive to black women do you guys see where i'm going so obviously that person will be nice enough to tell her okay da 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 then you can make another video and be like oh i found out that this is what black people use you can even make it a teachable moment to your other palm colored sisters like oh black people been using this oh this is a picture of the one they used to use that was mechanical they used to hit it on the stove so yeah we can use this as white women but we must always give credit to the black people who invented this stuff and then this is how you use it shout out to this black sister for telling me the right way to use this do you see how what i'm talking about here like you find a way to include and to acknowledge the black women who own this thing who created it but what did she do she went on google and did her research and then came back to tell them oh madam cj walker did not create the hot comb it was a white man that did it because white people create all the fabulous things that people all over the world are enjoying today she didn't say that but you go that's the way i interpret it so that was where she was wrong trying to now come and tell black people no it's not yours it doesn't belong to black people you guys didn't create it so all of us can use it get out of my comments that's not what she said but you guys that's just the way i interpret what she said sorry if i'm being overly dramatic but that is so that is where she was wrong and i think that was what further enraged everybody you guys at this point i am done i am done the fact that white people try to discover things that already exist i mean it's in their history right christopher columbus <laughs> they try to discover things that already exist and make it look like they found it first make it look like it's theirs that history will always speak against every palm colored person who keeps going into marginalized groups and communities and taking stuff from there or discovering stuff from there and putting it on a public platform so you see this whole hot club incident is going to happen again and again that's all i have to say anyway you guys let me know what you think in the comment section do you think she handled it well you know and then what do you think about the black people that felt offended by the whole situation do you think black people are doing too much by you know calling out stuff like that and again do you guys think it's cultural appropriation what she did and the way she went about it let me know in the comment section please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye